Now, um, car manufacturers are going to have to better protect internet-connected cars right, because they're vulnerable to hacking, and so the government wants them to do something about it. Let's talk to Ash Hunt, who's a cybersecurity specialist who's here. Good morning. Good morning. A lot of people are going to say, what is a, a smart car, a, a connected car, and are there, are there any on the roads at the moment? Absolutely. So the government guidance that's been released this morning is actually kind of paving the way for the foundation for automated cars. But there is a clear, uh, real and present danger to cars on the road at the moment that have kind of any Wi-Fi services or connected to any interconnected networks. Um, so, uh, for example, the car I came in this morning uh, had offered Wi-Fi and the, uh, the driver had uh, two phones connected to it. Mm. So we've already seen a couple of attack vectors there where um, hackers can get into the car uh, remotely, seek out these remote vulnerabilities and take control of the car and get it to do uh, various different things. So even with the cars that are on the market at the moment that may have, and certainly I know mine has got a little sign on which shows so that you can track it on a, you, the app on the phone, so it's sort of obviously giving out information to somewhere. So, so what could a hacker actually do at the moment? Well, so there's, there's many things that, the, uh, that a, a hacker could actually do. So, for example, it could uh, hack the smartphone that's connected uh, through Bluetooth to the, to the car. For example, if you're just playing music, something as simple as that. Uh, or indeed, um, the insurance devices that are attached to dashboards in cars, that's also another area where a hacker could get in. They will then take control, likely, of um, the control network in a car, which sort of uh, links up all of the car's uh, um, uh, systems, so like the engine, the transmission. It could cut the brakes, increase the acceleration, even turn the steering in the opposite direction. So there are some real serious right. vulnerabilities and threats here. So it's interesting, because you know, on first reading, this sounds all very futuristic, but if it's affecting a lot of us already, or potentially, could do. Surely car manufacturers are aware of, of, of security issues yeah. with, with regard to this sort of thing? Well, there's this constant battle that we're finding in uh, cyber security uh, between uh, convenience and security. Now, consumers obviously want convenience, and unfortunately, there's no real legislative uh, efforts at the moment by the government to force manufacturers to sort of um, focus or at least consider security in a strong way. So, therefore, it's really not in their interest. Now, the guidance and the principles that the government have released today um, are, are a sound list of security commandments, um, but unfortunately there's a lot of language in there that's actually really unhelpful. For example, it requires manufacturers um, to design out cybercrime. I mean, whilst that aspiration is sound, it's just an unachievable reality. And so whilst, of course, there are difficulties around just putting a red line in security and saying, well, we need this to be secured because you have to ask difficult questions. What is it actually we're securing? What are we securing against? But there is scope for some legislative imagination for the government to look at things like, well, when you go for an MOT, um, should there be mandatory software and firmware updates so that the systems that you're running in your car are actually up to date and the vulnerabilities are patched? And the DVLA at the moment offers no guidance or requirement for MOTs to look at security in this way. Oh, look, it's really interesting. Mm. Really interesting. Ash, good to talk to you this Sounds morning. So Thank, James you. Bond. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. It does yeah. sound very James Bond, which is always a plus thing in my book. <laughs> um, Ash, thank you. Stay with us. Lots more still to come for you here on Sunrise. All the sport heading your way in just a moment.